When you think of Japan, apart from their discipline, work culture and food, earthquake is something that definitely comes to our mind. And I don't say it lightly, the island nation has lost a lot to earthquakes and tsunamis. On Thursday last week, Japan's southern coast was struck by a 7.1 magnitude earthquake. In this video, we'll explore why this earthquake is different from others. We'll also discuss the growing fear of a mega quake and then explain the tsunami warnings that followed. And we'll also understand the cutting edge technology Japan uses to predict these natural disasters. We'll also take a closer look at why Japan is so frequently hit by earthquakes and how this shapes the country's approach to disaster readiness. At first, we'll try to understand what makes this earthquake different. Japan is no stranger to seismic activity. Located on the Pacific Ring of Fire, the country experiences thousands of earthquakes every year, most of which are minor, almost as if it's like a windy day in your city. However, last week's earthquake is different, and not just because of its magnitude, the epicenter of this earthquake was located along a particular complex fault system, which is part of the same tectonic boundary that has been responsible for some of the most devastating earthquakes in history. One of the most concerning aspects of this earthquake is the possibility that it could be a force shock, a trailer to a much larger seismic activity. And I'm sure you know that this is not the first time Japan has faced such a scenario. Historical patterns show that smaller earthquakes often precede larger ones, sometimes within days or even hours. The possibility of a larger, more devastating earthquake, known as a mega quake, has made scientists and the public to be panicky alert. Now, what do we learn from history? Japan's history is filled with devastating earthquakes, each one leaving a lasting impact on the country's landscape and its people. The 1995 Kobe earthquake, for example, resulted in over 6,000 deaths and caused widespread destruction. The more recent 2011 Tohoku earthquake and subsequent tsunami claimed nearly 16,000 lives and triggered the infamous Fukushima nuclear disaster. These events serve as a serious reminders of the potential consequences of living in one of the most seismically active regions on the Earth. Now the big question is, is a mega quake on the horizon? The fear of a mega quake, a major seismic event with the potential to cause unprecedented damage, has been in constant news in Japan. Scientists have long warned about the possibility of a mega quake occurring along the Nankai Trough, a submarine trench located off Japan's southern coast. This region is where the Philippine Sea Plate is located beneath the Eurasian Plate. Creating immense pressure, when released, could result in a magnitude of 8 or even 9 earthquake. Such an event would not only cause severe shaking across a vast area, but would almost certainly trigger a massive tsunami, putting millions of lives at risk. The 2011 Tohoku earthquake, which was itself a magnitude 9.1 event, offers a glimpse of what a Nankai Trough megaquake could unleash. However, experts are saying that a Nankai Trough event could be even more devastating due to its proximity to heavily populated areas like Tokyo and Osaka. Now, what is the response of the Japanese government and public? The Japanese government is not sitting idle in the face of these warnings. Extensive research and planning have gone into preparing for the possibility of a mega quake. Disaster readiness drills are conducted regularly, involving millions of citizens. Similarly, infrastructure projects aimed at mitigating the impact of such an event are ongoing. These include sea walls, earthquake resistant buildings, and early warning systems that are among the most advanced in the world. Despite these efforts, the sheer scale of a potential mega quake means that Japan would still face enormous challenges in responding to such a disaster. The memories and wounds of the 2011 disaster are still fresh serving as both a warning and a motivator for continued vigilance and readiness. Now let's understand what is this new technology regarding tsunami warnings and advanced prediction. One of the immediate concerns following Thursday's earthquake was the possibility of a tsunami. Japan has a long and tragic history with tsunamis, and its tsunami's warning system is among the most sophisticated in the world. The Japanese Meteorological Agency is at the forefront of this effort. JMA utilizes a vast network of seismic sensors, ocean buoys, and satellite data to monitor for undersea earthquakes that could generate tsunamis. The system is designed to issue warnings within minutes of detecting an earthquake, giving coastal residents enough time to evacuate. These warnings are broadcast through multiple channels, including television, radio, mobile phones, and public loudspeakers, ensuring that the message reaches as many people as possible in the shortest amount of time. But the technology doesn't stop at detection. 
Japan's early warning system is also capable of predicting the size and arrival time of a tsunami, allowing for more precise and targeted evacuations. This system was instrumental in saving lives during the 2011 Tohoku disaster, although the sheer scale of that event overwhelmed even the best preparations. Now what about the earthquake prediction and readiness? Japan's technology edge isn't limited to tsunami warnings. The country has also made significant strides in earthquake prediction and readiness. While predicting the exact time and location of an earthquake remains beyond current scientific capabilities, Japan's approach focuses on minimizing damage and casualties when earthquakes do occur. The country's buildings are some of the most earthquake-resistant in the world, thanks to strict building codes and cutting-edge engineering. Many structures are equipped with seismic dampers and base isolation systems that reduces shaking during an earthquake, protecting both the buildings and their occupants. I must also tell you that Japanese readiness doesn't end with infrastructure alone. Additionally, Japan's public education campaigns play a crucial role in readiness. From a young age, Japanese citizens are taught how to respond in the event of an earthquake with regular drills conducted in schools, workplaces and communities. This culture of readiness combined with advanced technology has helped Japan mitigate the impact of its frequent earthquakes. Now, what is the role of innovation in disaster response? Japan's commitment to innovation extends beyond prevention and into disaster response. The country has invested heavily in search and rescue technology, including drones, robotics, and artificial intelligence to enhance the speed and efficiency of its emergency response efforts. These technologies are deployed in the immediate aftermath of a disaster, helping to locate survivors, assess damage, and coordinate relief efforts. One of the most remarkable aspects of Japan's approach to disaster management is its ability to adapt and improve based on past experiences. The lessons learned from previous earthquakes and tsunamis continue to inform and refine the country's strategies, ensuring that Japan remains at the forefront of global disaster readiness. I'm sure by now we all have one question in our mind. Why does Japan experience so many earthquakes in the first place? The answer lies deep beneath the Earth's surface. Japan is located at the convergence of four major tectonic plates, the Pacific, the Philippine Sea, Eurasian and North American plates. The constant movement of these plates create immense pressure along fault lines, which is periodically released in the form of earthquakes. As I mentioned earlier, the most significant of these fault lines is the Nankai Trough where the Philippine Sea Plate is being subducted beneath the Eurasian Plate. The subduction process is responsible for some of the most powerful earthquakes in Japan's history, including the 1944 Tonankai and 1946 Nankai earthquakes. Unfortunately, the same geological forces are at play last week, continuing to shape Japan's seismic landscape. Now, this unique geological setting has made Japan one of the most earthquake-prone countries in the world. The nation's history is punctuated by seismic events that have shaped not only the landscape but also its culture, architecture and policies. From ancient times to the present day, earthquakes have played a central role in Japan's development, influencing everything from religious practices to modern urban planning. As Japan recovers from last week's earthquake, the world watches with concern. While the fear of a megaquake looms large, the resilience and preparedness of the Japanese people offer hope. With continued advancement in technology and a commitment to safety, Japan remains a global leader in earthquake readiness. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.